Today we will be learning about the pentagon configuration in geometry. Now this particular configuration comes up in many problems in regional and national level math olympiads. I'll tell you what the configuration is. In many such problems you will see that there is a pentagonal figure which is often cyclic and the key to the problem key to solving the problem depends on identifying that pentagon it's a very beautiful object once you see it in the context of a problem and we will do that how do we actually prove that there is a cyclic pentagon well, actually, we don't do that directly. We first work with a cyclic quadrilateral. So, maybe we first say A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. And then, maybe we say that A, B, C, E is also a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, of course, both of these cyclic quadrilaterals lie on the circle passing through A, B, C. So that's a single circle passing through the three points A, B and C. D lies on that particular circle because A, B, C, D is cyclic. E lies on that particular circle because A, B, C, E is cyclic. So we conclude that all of these five points lie on the same circle. Okay, so this is the pentagon configuration. You might have seen it in other problems. We will discuss a particular problem where this configuration comes up. This is from RMO 2000, and 2000 problem number one. The problem we uh, solved it earlier using trig bashing. This time we will do it by pure geometry. So AB is a straight line like this, this line segment and C is a point between A and B. And we draw triangles a, P, C, B, Q, C, and A, R, C. A, R, C. So, what is given? It's given that A, P, C, B, Q, C, and A, R, C, they're all isosceles. And the angles right here are 120 degree. All of these three angles. Angle P, angle Q, angle R. Our goal is to show that PQR is equilateral. PQR is equilateral. So let me draw PQR. Now, how are we going to show that? Well, here is a construction. We drop a perpendicular from P to AC. Let's call this point M. And drop a perpendicular from Q to BC again. So, this is N suppose. Now, the step 1 is to show that QCM and PCN are in the same straight line. So let me join MC and let me join NC. Show that PCN and QCM are straight lines. Okay, so it's quite simple actually to show this because let's suppose these two points are X and Y. I will show, I'll sort of sketch one part of the proof. Uh, so this is an isosceles triangle, BQC is an isosceles triangle and QY, QY is perpendicular to the base. 
So we can say that these two angles are equal. This resides are equal. CY equals to BY. In an isosceles triangle, if you drop a perpendicular from the vertex to the base, uh, then it hits the midpoint of that base. And now if you look at these two triangles, these two angles are 90 degree. So, and this side is equal. See NY. NY is equals to NY. And angle CYN is equals to angle BYN. Both of them are 90 degree. So these two triangles are congruent. Triangle CYN, CYN and BYN. Which basically means that this angle, this shaded angle is equal to this shaded angle. But notice that this shaded angle is 30 degree. Why? Because this is an isosceles triangle. ARB is an isosceles triangle which is 90, 120 here. So this is 30, this is 30. Right? So this one is 30. So this angle is also 30. Which basically means that PCN is one to, uh, 180 degree. Why? Because, well, this angle is 30. You can compute this angle to be 120 as well because this angle is 30. So this PCQ is 120. QCB is 30. And we just proved that BCN is 30. So, PCN is 180 degree, 120, 30, 30, right? So, similarly, BQ, QCM is also 180 degree. So, these are straight lines. Now, notice that these two angles are 60 degree. This is 60 and this one is also uh, I'm sorry, this one is 60. QC, uh, CQY, this is 60. Which basically means that PQNM, PQNM is cyclic. You can think of MN as the chord. Then MPN is equals to MQN. MPN is equals to MQN. So this is a cyclic, cyclic quadrilateral. A circle passes through these four points. But there is a fifth point which also works. So look at the quadrilateral MPNR. MPNR. So let me write that M P N R. Well, this angle right here is 60 degree as we talked earlier because P X was the perpendicular. So it in the isosceles triangle. So it divides the top angle into two parts, equal parts. So this is 60 degree and this angle is 120. This is 120. So opposite angles add up to 180 degree opposite angles add up to 180 degree which means that MPNR is cyclic. So we found a cyclic pentagon now because this is the circle that we found earlier which passes through the vertex MPN also passes through Q because MPQN was cyclic. Now we prove that MPNR is cyclic so the circle also passes through R. So we found a beautiful cyclic pentagon. So now we are ready to prove that PQR is equilateral. It's quite simple because PRQ, PRQ, this angle, must be equals to PNQ. PRQ is equals to PNQ and that is 60 degree because it's half of 120 as we proved earlier that it's 120. Okay, so also you can see it in the 
in this particular triangle so this is 30 this is 90 means this is 60 so p r q is equals to p n q so p r q is 60 degree okay can you show in the similar manner that p q r is 60 degree how can you argue that how can you argue q p r is 60 degree using this cyclic pentagon it's very simple give me a complete argument in the comment use the cyclic pentagon and also tell me if, if you have seen any other problems where cyclic pentagons have come up keep on doing great mathematics i will see you in the next one